you have your vendor's license? Yes. Are you registered? May I see it? It's a question I asked vendor after vendor here for the RNC along Euclid Avenue and on East 4th. Dozens of them peddling their wares outside the three vendor zones set up by the city of Cleveland. Each vendor required to fill out this extensive form, complete with contact information, even their social security number, so checks can be run on them and police know who's out there. But each time I ask to see a vendor's license... So what, what does it, what, what, why do I have to show you? Well, I mean, you, you're supposed to... Why do I have to show you, though? This guy was selling cold drinks out of a small cooler. Do you have a vendor's license to do this? Yes. May I see that? No. You don't want to show it to me? Not for television, no. All right, will you Enjoy. show it to me? Will you show it to me off camera? Yes. You guessed it, he never showed me his vendor's license. You've been here outside of the zone, is that right? Well, I stayed in the zone for a couple days and I was not making any money. This woman did pay them more than $200 for a vendor's license, but she said nearly all the registered vendors moved out of the zones just so they could survive. Down on Euclid like, is like the best spot to be. And that's not exactly in any of the zones, but that's where everybody's at because we all know where the hot spots are. And she said a group of registered vendors are now thinking about filing a class action lawsuit against the city for setting up zones that were unfair and for not enforcing the law on dozens of rogue vendors. We don't mind paying, but give us areas that we can make a living. You know, we can make the money we came here to make and sell our stuff.